So the bases are ready for the two posts, the stone bases. And I've been doing some prep work this morning because when I have some help here, I want to be able to fasten that in quickly. For So for example, getting the holes drilled, the screws ready, even if I switch to nails, I can just pull these out quickly and grab the nails there. Those I'll screw for sure. I also put the other one on here, but I left it loose so that it'll slide, the beam will slide in better. Both of these, and I got them so we can grab them quick. So one person will be able to set them on there, hold them up, and the beam will set on them. These cross braces will give a lot of support this way. I also calculated out the first rafter has to go to the end there so I calculated out how far does that beam have to stick out here so that that is even parallel with the porch and it turns out it's I think it was 17 and a half inches to this edge right here 17 and a half inches so I put the um, the connecting piece on here so that way when this connecting piece is even with that post we know that it's correct and, it's, and it can be screwed in actually I could um I probably should do that drill two more holes right here so I had them ready for screws the other thing I noticed was and I noticed this a little bit before I think we're not perfectly level across there and it shows up there where we're setting the beam now the beam does flex you can see it does flex but I don't know if it's gonna flex it'd be better to be it straight so it goes down straight and I can start putting sports in and we can see how far it's off more than I thought it would be if you look across there they're just not they're not even so here's what I'm thinking I think I have a few minutes yet before I need to go to my other job I'm gonna grab the chainsaw I'm gonna cut this corner off right even right below here so right across here right across that whole thing I hope I don't hit nails but it's possible I will but I need to if I do I do but I'll try to grab an old chain. Then I'm gonna go on the other corner and do the same thing. Then when I have some help, I'm gonna get some blocks and we're gonna pry these two ends up and put a slice of stone in there. So that there'll be a stone in between the original post and the deck to bring it back up where it should be. I would imagine it was level at one point, but as you know, they can shift. We've ran into that at their escape when we were working on the porch there there's some videos about that so that's the easiest technique I have in mind and I'm gonna grab the chainsaw and make the cut now once it's a little difficult because once it cuts all the way I probably will I'll have to be careful I might not not be able to do it all the way because the porch is gonna set down on my saw and then I'll be stuck so Maybe I'm going to have to wait for help on that one too. But I could at least get it started and see what I run into. Other than that, I could get the rafters ready, but I'm running out of time. So I don't think I'm going to get to that. Especially if we're going to do this tonight. i got to see if I can get enough help. I'm thinking four guys would be better than three. The three might be enough, but four would be better. And then a couple other people to spot. I think the whole thing's gonna have to come all the way over to here and then back in and up. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Or maybe over into here and then over and, and either way, I don't think there's enough room to go in that way. It would have to go over that fence. Plus, there's trees in our way. 
Okay, I think that's the strategy. Maybe go right through the gate there and then come back in. So prep, gotta get ready. I'm gonna go drill those other holes. Maybe get a chainsaw ready and get as ready as I can. Once it's up there, we wanna fasten it in. We wanna get it secured correctly and efficiently.